got some of these. How about these? Sure you do. Boxes and boxes of them probably. And like me, you want to take your favorites and digitize them into the computer, either to share with friends on the internet, or maybe even make some prints after you crop them, clean them up, and color correct them, and so on. Many people try and scan them in using a flatbed scanner with one of those weird frames that position the negatives on the glass, and hope for the best. The results are usually okay, but not especially sharp. Plus, messing around with the frame is awkward and time-consuming. Each scan can take up to half a minute. It's like watching paint dry. With today's super megapixel digital still cameras, there is no need to go to all that hassle. Here's a faster way of getting that stuff into the computer. First, you'll have to go out and purchase a light box. It doesn't have to be too big. I got this one at the local photo store for about 30 bucks. It runs on four AA batteries, so there's no annoying power cable to get in the way either. You don't need a fancy tripod or a special rig to do this effectively. The light box is thick enough that you can stand it on its edge, like this. For negatives, you might like to make some kind of a film strip holder out of cardboard. I used the negative holder from my flatbed scanner and simply taped it onto the box with scotch tape. The camera sits on your desk or table in front of the box. You might need to put a book or two under the camera so that the lens is centered in the middle of the negative. Set your camera to its macro setting. That allows you to take pictures of things close up. Mine goes into that mode automatically when it senses something really close. I leave the camera on autofocus too, so it will automatically focus clearly on the negative. When you've positioned the camera so that the frame of the negative is just a little smaller than full size, take a picture. You've just digitized your first negative. Continue along with the other negatives. Do as many as you like. You'll save all of your work afterwards. Slides are even easier. I just prop the slide up against the box as vertically as I can and then take the shot. Done. If you shot negatives, you'll have to load them into a paint program of some kind and make a reversal of that negative. That will give you a positive, which you can then color correct. PaintShop Pro has a function for restoring old photographs, and the results are instant. They look remarkable. So that's it. Simple, clean, and fast.